Hey ho. So, um, I'm a little delayed, uh, not a heap. Um, I've been super busy of late uh, between work, wife, kids, the usual. Uh, it's also apple season here in Iowa, and I've been pressing apples like mad for uh, apple wine and uh, cider, or as the Americans would say, uh, hard cider. So I've been quite um, busy, but uh, that being said, I've also been doing a bunch of Z80 assembly programming and making some alarmingly good progress. I'm worryingly good at this. Um, or should I say I'm not as crap as I was expecting to be. Uh, I am a programmer, um, so that probably makes sense, but assembly is such a shift from what I'm used to doing in higher level languages. I was expecting to be able to pick it up, knock on wood, quite so easily. However, so far it's all been on the prototyping emulator in-house. I haven't done any changes to our hardware yet because, as promised in the last video, I have a website. It's not a very fancy one and it doesn't have lots and lots of things in it yet. And it pretty much entirely focuses on the Z80 board. But it does exist. Brace yourself. Geekpalace.info Ah, even I amaze myself with my originality sometimes. I know, I know. Right now all it has is some assembly scraps, uh, or at least the uh, major programs that I've written so far, if you'll call them major, uh, milestone programs, perhaps would be a better description, and some explanation of what they're doing, how they're doing it, hopefully to make it easier for people to understand when they wander in the middle. I have not done a schematic. I have picked up Eagle Cat a couple of times in my life and I tried it again and it's a miserable son of a bitch of a thing. Um, while I might be able to do Z80 assembly, doing uh, CAD schematics is not something I'm good at. So what I have done is produced a full net list. So this wire goes to that wire, or rather this pin goes to that pin and that pin, so that if you followed it, you could build it without having the schematic. If somebody out there has time, or unlike myself, is actually skilled at this sort of thing, boy, I'd sure appreciate a schematic being worked up. But I'm not going to push there uh, if my laziness is the one stopping me. Nevertheless, uh, geekpalace.info is up now, so... Feel free, take a look. Um, like I said, there's not a heap there. If there is something that you guys think that I should be adding, I'm interested, uh, throw it in the comments. Do keep in mind that time that I spend working on the website is time that I'm not doing videos. So there is a consideration there. But uh, if there is some glaring emissions, I'm all ears. Uh, I think that's about it. Um, I'm not done with this, obviously. I've written code for the second UART bootloader. So all I need now to do is the actual hardware, uh, which I'm actually kind of jazzed about, uh, mostly because the bootloader worked so well, or the software works so well, that I'm hopeful that it's going to be uh, pretty easy to drop straight onto here. The... Max 232, which does the voltage conversions, can take a second UART on it, so I don't have to head I don't have to add a second Max 232, which is cool. There is supposed to be a way where you can chain the UARTs. The um, divided by 16 clock signal can come out of this UART and chain into another one, uh, and I think it might actually have to come back in and they loop, but I'm not positive yet, I've got to go back and read the documentation, so I shouldn't need another oscillator or anything like that. The only complication, if you call it that, is that means that I now need to do I.O. decoding, because the I.O. request line, which is what tells the I.O. device that you want to talk to it, um, because there's only one I.O. device, I have the line going straight from the Z80 to the UART, so the UART's always enabled whenever you try and do an I.O. request from the Z80, which obviously won't work if I have more than one UART. So I'm thinking that I'm probably going to 
be real simple and rip off my memory decoding design and just simply add another 7400. I know I've got one over there and I think it works. Uh, I will test it beforehand though because I've learned my lesson of not testing things properly last time. Uh, and we will be breaking at the truth table before we put anything down on circuit boards. This is another thing that we have learned. Yeah, so that's about it. Still going. Haven't ADD'd off quite yet. There will be more to come. Um, do let me know what you guys think, what you think is missing. And um, if you have any code snippets or any schematics or any suggestions or anything like that, drop me a line. If you have been, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.